So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So to start with, what you need to do is you just need to click on this search icon here and then search for partition. And when you search for partition, you will be able to see this result, which says create and format hard disk partition. So I'm going to just click on this uh, option, which is going to open the disk management window. Now, if somehow you can't search for this option, then we have the other option to open the same window. For that, you just need to right click on this PC on your folder explorer. So right click on this PC option and then click on show more options and then click on manage option. And once you click on manage, it's going to open this kind of window. And here you need to choose disk management under storage. Okay, so under storage section, you will see disk management and it will also open the same window. So you just need to open this window either way, whatever suits for you. Once this window is open, you can see I have here C drive and I want to create a partition on this drive. You might have multiple drives here. Uh, it might be D drive and E drive. So whatever hard drive you want to choose for your partition, you can uh, select that drive. Okay. So once you have decided on which hard disk you want to create a partition, you need to just select that uh, disk. But before that, let me show you how many uh, partition I have on my Windows 11 operating system. So as you can see, I only have one uh, local disk, which is around 100 GB. So I want to create one more partition, right, on the same hard disk. So select the hard disk on which you want to create a partition and then just right click on it and then just click on shrink volume option here. So just click on shrink volume option. And once you click on shrink volume option, you will be able to see total size before shrink in MB, size of available shrink space in MB. So this is the available size to shrink. And then you have the option to enter the amount of space you want to shrink in megabytes, right? So as you can see, I have around 100 GB here. So let's say I want to allocate 10 GB to the new partition. So I'm going to just uh, write here 10,000, which is around uh, 10 GB. And based upon this value, your windows is going to calculate total size after shrink in MB. So this size is calculated. And once you have entered this value, just click on shrink option, which is going to create this unallocated section on the disk where you have uh, uh, shrinked this volume, right? So now we have around 10 GB unallocated space, which we have taken from our C drive. In my case, it can be any other drive in your case, right? Now, once you see unallocated here, just select the section which says unallocated and then right click on it and then click on new simple volume here which is going to open this kind of wizard here you just need to click on next here and you just need to leave everything as default because we want to uh, utilize all the space which we have unallocated right so just leave it as default and then click on next here you can choose the drive letter, right? So, so as you can see on my PC, C and D drive letters are already taken. So apart from these two letters, I can select any letter from here. You can see A, B and C and D are not available because they are already uh, assigned and I can choose any other letter from here. I will choose E here, but you are free to choose any other letter for your drive and then click on next. And then you will see format the volume with the following settings. So you just need to leave file system as NTFS and allocation unit size default. Just leave it as a default. You can give the name or volume label to your drive. So by default, it's new volume. 
but you can change it to anything i will name it as data okay so the new volume label will be data and then you just need to click on next and then click on finish as soon as you click on finish you will be able to see this kind of notification and here you can see data drive is created with the letter e right so now when i go to my folder explorer i can see this data volume partition which is created on my c drive in my case it can be any other drive in your case now let me also show you how you can delete the partition on your windows 11 operating system so let's say you're not happy with the partition you have created on your hard drive and you want to delete it and you want to claim all the space uh, which you have in uh, that partition into your main drive how you can do it let's see so for that you can uh, just click on this pc on your folder explorer so just click on this pc and then click on show more options click on manage here and once this uh, computer management window opens you can click on disk management under storage and this is the partition which we want to delete right so just select the partition which you want to delete but first of all one caution you need to have the backup of uh, the data which you have in the drive right because when you delete a partition all the data inside that partition will be deleted so you need to have the backup of the data otherwise you will lose your data okay so that's been said we can delete this uh, e drive from here in my case it can be any drive in your case just right click on the drive which you want to delete and then you have the option to delete it so just click on delete volume you can read this warning if you want and then click on yes and once you click on yes your memory in your partition will be unallocated right but still we need to just add this uh, space in our main drive in my case it's c drive right so right now it's unallocated but we want to use this uh, uh, space so in order to allocate this uh, 10 gb of space in my c drive what i can do is i can right click on the drive which i want to extend so right click and then click on extend volume option so click on extend volume option and then click on next and you will be able to see uh, one option here which is 10 gb in my case because i have around 10 gb unallocated uh, space here right so just choose this option and then click on next and then click on finish once you do that your c drive will be extended and the unallocated section will be removed so basically what we did is we have extended our c drive by 10 gb right and once you do that you have successfully deleted your partition on your windows 11 operating system you can also check this in the folder explorer that now i don't have this e drive anymore so this also indicates that our partition is deleted successfully okay so this is how you can create a partition on your windows 11 operating system